Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So um, in previous video I have shown you um, the improvements I've done on the nozzle tip change station and actually I have made another uh, improvement um, which is quite uh, which is observed on the industry v2 machine on this machine um, that is this nozzle head frame and um, the problem is that for this not uh, for this uh, industry v2 by default it adjusted the stepper motor current pretty high that means th this motor will be very very hot um, so that brings the problem that in my previous uh, design if it's very hot, then um, the plastic will be softened and then this uh, staple motor will go lower uh, a little bit because of this uh, softened um, um, plastic. So in, therefore in this design, um, actually I improved it, the nozzle head design. So um, first thing is actually I introduced here you see a lot of hole. Um, these are basically for the the heat to go away and then to actually ventilate the, the hot air inside and also I introduced uh, some gaps in between so basically um, to reduce the contact surface and also um, leave some air in between so in this way um, made the um, heat not so, not so easily to um, affect the plastic here and then on the other side I also um, made the two side uh, bars are a bit longer to un until the end of the model therefore uh, this tool is not directly contacting the um, stepper motor therefore this tool will not be um, easily bent off so it will stay um, in this state so um, even when the motor is really hot it can still work properly um, so this is all, this is one of the improvement I have made to the head um, the nozzle head, but then actually there are two ways to tackle this kind of a, a very hot uh, motor thing. So uh, one is of course I already uh, improved the design here, and then the other way is basically um, go into the um, this machine and then adjust the the current of the stepper motor. So inside inside this um, uh, machine actually now almost for all this FDM printer you have this adjusted um, screw that you can adjust and then if you adjust <clears throat> the resistance to be lower then um, you will basically have a lower um, current um, to apply to the stepper motor. The, the reason is basically um, this resistor is used as a reference to pre uh, create a reference voltage. So if you re um, adjust it to lower then the voltage will also be lower and then the current will be limited to the lower level. Um, in this case then the, the motor will be not so hot. But then one downside is that because of this um, is used for the uh, extruder so usually if you lower down the current then that means the uh, torque will be not that strong anymore so it could be that at some point you don't have enough uh, force for your uh, um, material to go in um, I think you had to make um, a balance but of course um, with, the, with this improved setting basically you can just keep the uh, setting current setting inside your machine and then this one um, will just uh, let it run in but then it will it will be quite hot and then it will actually waste a bit energy basically more more uh, current consumption and I don't know why uh, the Ender 3 V2 come with this um, uh, higher current for all the motor because when you when you feed it actually all the motors are pretty hot um, it's at least hotter than the other two um, stepper motor or uh, the other two 3d printer I have so I guess that's maybe they wanted to have enough uh, a torque uh, to basically move the the plate so yeah but this is the improvement and in case uh, you have any other thoughts um, just let me know 
uh, you can also leave comment in the feel free to leave comment in the YouTube video and then also uh, maybe leave comment in my um, uh, website and then I also want to share uh, news is that I have uh, created on my website the subscription so basically if you uh, subscribe you can download um, whatever digital uh, design that I have for free and then um, it's for one year so basically within one year any upgrade you can just download without without any other fees so yeah I think this will make it easier um, to um, upgrade your design if there's new updates and also um, for the people who got already the um, uh, advanced bundle for example and then um, basically you can also uh, free upgrade for one year that's um, whenever new updates come up you can just go to the website and then uh, use the download link that you have in the email and then download directly okay so um, that's all so if you like my video please like and subscribe to support me and then um, I will keep improving the uh, design and then um, yeah see you next time cheers